Hey, welcome to my channel. Welcome. Well, thanks for stopping by. This is a channel, all things cybersecurity focused, where I post write-ups to cybersecurity challenges and CTFs that you can follow along with to help build and level up your skills. But I want to leave you with three resources that you can get hands-on with today to build real-world practical skills to help you with cybersecurity. The first one, Hack the Box. This is a cyber performance center the landing page looks like once you've logged in and the reason i highly recommend hack the box is because they have red team and blue teaming and it's a really unique experience this is offered over several formats they have labs which are single machines you have to conduct red team exercises to get access to I'll show you right over here you click machines they have hundreds of machines i've completed over 100 myself you spin one of these up you can use their in browser box and you can start learning right away. What I like to do, or if you're new to cybersecurity, you wanna to go to retired machines, and this is where the true beauty happens because you can actually read write-ups to how other people solve these, these machines, how they were compromised, what CVEs were used, how they were modified, and you can follow those instructions and practice yourself, which it's still incredibly difficult. So don't think that's the easy way out. What else about Hack the Box makes it unique? The other thing I'll touch on are Sherlock's. These are forensics. No, forensics. This is a whole forensics area of the platform where you're thrown into an environment where something's happened and you might be given a PCAP, you might be given event logs, you might be given Splunk logs, Zeek logs, network logs, host logs, and you have to figure out what the attackers did and, and answer various questions. So if we just look at one, for example, and click into it, there's all these very specific questions that you can pursue. And I highly recommend this. It is a lot of fun. The only other thing I'll say about Hack the Box is they do have attack and defend and prolapse, but those are for undeniably advanced players where you're in an environment with 14 different hosts. You have web apps, servers, switches, routers, printers, and you have to pivot around, weaponize various hosts, and pivot your way to the top. Let's look at the next platform, which is going to be Try Hack Me. The reason I'm recommending Try Hack Me is Hack the Box can be a little intense for beginners. Try Hack Me is very beginner friendly. They, it says it's for beginners. They, they cover all disciplines and all aspects of cybersecurity. I'm gonna show you something specific to give you a higher uh, level understanding of why you should use Try Hack Me. Their annual event, 25 days of cyber is so much fun. But if we take a look, have a look at their format and how helpful this is for a beginner. Look at this, they have web exploitation and they literally walk you through how the, how the back end works, how the front end works, how you're intercepting requests, how you're exploiting it. You wanna learn about networking, drop down to the networking area. Again, same thing. They're gonna walk you through how to read and sniff network traffic, how to analyze it, how to detect vulnerabilities. And you're gonna answer several questions. OSINT, scripting, reverse engineering, blue teaming, so on and so forth. And this is consistent across their platform. Whether you pick a room in malware development or you pick a room in securing critical infrastructure, they're going to have learning paths to walk your hand through every step of the way, making this incredibly friendly for beginners. Now, the third resource I'm going to leave you with is the Port Swigger Web Application Security. The reason why is this academy is... So completely centered around web application security, which is so relevant today. If you want to do bug bounties or you want to be in cybersecurity or even want to do the OSCP, you're going to have to know about web exploitation. And what's cool about Port Swigger is it's free. It's completely free. You do need Burp Suite Professional to do some of the content, but let me show you all of the labs here. This is truly amazing. There are hundreds of labs. You want to learn about prototype pollution, web cache deception, race conditions, API testing, prototype pollution, OAuth authenticate, file upload, so on. So it goes on and on. Like, look at this list. This is free. And the thing is, they actually walk you through it. So if you click on something here, this is just going to be the lab. But again, you can see solutions down here. But you will actually, if you want to learn and you don't just want to go straight into the lab, they will teach you everything through their academy. Oh, and let me just show you here on the right, top right. Right here, look, if you look at your progress, they have, look at all these labs they have. This is amazing. But let me show you the learning path. Somewhere around here, oh yeah, so if you click a learning path, like the one I'm doing, API testing, and you jump in there, they're actually gonna walk you through and talk about how the vulnerability works, which is incredible. They do this for their like 200 labs. 
It's extremely user-friendly. They're constantly adding new content. They're adding relevant content. They already have stuff on there about how to bypass language models. This is a place to start. It's completely free. Other than that, that's all. These are three resources to help you in your cyber journey. Like and subscribe so I can make more videos.